paragraph 94-142, now, now, now known as Individuals with Disability Education Act, was faced massive resistance. During President Reagan's term, why, why that re resistance given to thousands of letters in support of it? All right. First of all, I knew this law as the education of all handicapped children. Education for All Handicapped Children Act. That was its original name. I like the original name because it reminds me of the fact that until that law was passed, people with disabilities couldn't get an education in a public school. I mean, if you can believe it, in the United States, children could not get a public school education. My son, Sonny Weicker, has been educated under that law. Mm -hmm. And indeed, since that law has been passed, which goes to show that, you know, sometimes things aren't, sometimes good things apply to everybody. That law worked, and the disabled started to mainstream in our society because they had an education. Because it worked, we passed another law called birth to three, which means that disabled young disabled men and women were educated from the, literally from the time they were born. And we now know it used to be that the people said, well, education only counts for anybody when you're in your teens. We now know it counts the minute you're born. So uh, I just can't emphasize more strongly the importance of education for the disabled. And I can't emphasize more strongly the fact that when they start giving out the public school money, the public school systems, most of them, try to duck under the law and not give that education to disabled children. Um, uh, which brings me to the last point, which is everybody thinks that sort of warm and fuzzy thoughts about Ronald Reagan. I don't have any warm and fuzzy thoughts about Ronald Reagan. He tried to cut this program so that the education would not be available. And uh, uh, I think that, uh, I thank God that even up to today, at least the law is on the books. Whether or not people are paying attention, that, that remains to be seen. John, maybe you'd love a comment here. Well, the only thing I'd add, Senator, is that in, in direct answer to your question, Tom, I don't think people here in Connecticut or around the country really knew what uh, then-President Reagan had proposed, namely to repeal this law, do away with it, take it off the books, and to cut the funding way, way back. Uh, Senator Weicker and our staff did a lot of work to inform people, to let people like you know, to let, let people like Ed Pernetta that runs the State DD Council here in Connecticut know what was going on and that they should contact their elected officials and make sure they oppose what the then-President was trying to do. And Senator Weicker led that fight, and it was a long fight. In your question, you asked about the thousands of letters that were sent. Well, those were only sent after Senator Weicker asked people that were concerned uh, to send them. So, in other words, it seems like you guys didn't get any response back. Not a initially. Positive response. Not initially, that's right. And uh, But it did come. And it came in the form of letters, came in the form of protests, uh, and finally President Reagan and his education secretary backed down and they stopped trying to repeal the law and repeal the regulations and cut the funding. But it was a long fight. 